Hi, it's Matt with the Linda McGuire team back for our monthly market update. So today we're going to be taking a look at April 2020. And this is interesting because it's the first full month of statistics that we have during the COVID-19 situation. So we'll get a real good feel for how it's affecting the real estate market um, and the statistics and the numbers. So taking a look at sales activity, uh, the number of homes that are selling in the month of April. So last year, 2019, April, we saw about 369 sales. And this year we saw just 105 homes sold. So that's down 72%. And that's pretty consistent with what we're seeing now in the market is the sales activity or the supply of homes is down about 70% on average. Um, so taking a look at new listings that are hitting the market, last year in April, we had just under 520, and this year we had just 183. So that's down 65% compared to last year. And that's big too, because in April and May, um, you start to see a lot more new listings hit the market, typically um, because it's the spring market, it's nice out, people have their homes ready, and it's a good time to list. But this year, with everything that's going on, we're seeing a decline in new listings. Uh, and now taking a look at price, last year in April 2019, the average home price was just over 743,000, and this year it was over $810,000. So that's up 9% year over year compared to last April. Um, and a lot of that has to do with the strong market that we saw in January, February, even into March, um, where there was a lot of demand out there, but not a lot of supply on the market. So that gap was causing an increase in prices and a lot of competition and prices were rising. When you take a look at that 810,000 average in April compared to February and March of this year, it's pretty level. Um, prices were going up as the year started, but once the situation hit, activity went way down, but prices have leveled off. Um, and that's what we're seeing consistently. Royal LePage just released an article talking about their predictions for home prices in 2020 with this whole situation. And for now, they are seeing that they're very resilient and they're staying fairly stable right now. That being said, um, we still have a very low level of supply, especially with new listings going down every month now, and we still have a high level of demand. So, and a lot of buyers have put their home search on hold or on the back burners. So when things go back to normal, government regulations are opened up, we do expect the floodgates to open and things be very active in the market and drive prices back up as well as sales activity. All right, that's everything for this week. If you have any questions, please let us know. We're here to help and have a great day. See ya.